paternally solicitous that very day, whipped with knife and the other necessary tools. The nails skinned little rain clad to use a hide. You'll never guess, for a comforting disguise. The next morning, he dipped the pathetic remains in brine and put that slashed, salty, abbreviated attire, so touchingly similar to that of the mother, the same reddish colour, the same broad white belt around the middle, the same white four legs over the back of another calf. Making sure that the manifest imposture was within reach of the eyes and muscle of the sorrowing mother, he tied the disguised calf to one of her front legs. Rain cloud, all emotion after sniffing the beloved hide, which not only comforted her soul but delighted her tongue, happiness turning into milk, gave herself up to licking the brine with which the adult remains were impregnated. Like all idealists, she found pleasure in illusion, and in the salt, the symbol of wisdom. Like so many unhappy lovers, she cursed the departed soul in strange body. Meanwhile, the happy deceiver, sole heir of the departed, not only put on his attire, but guzzled his ration of milk. The imposture lasted for several days. After that, the disguise and the salt were no longer needed. The calf, whom habit had legitimized, replaced the son. Daniel was right. The dead are forgotten. This does not mean that they are not deeply and sincerely mourned for some time 